everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Daria, and today's yoga practice is an intermediate to probably more advanced level, challenging but playful vinyasa flow. We'll be working specifically on activating the arms and finding some arm balances as our peak postures. We'll play with Kundinyasana B and Astavakrasana eight angle pose today. If you do have yoga blocks, I would recommend grabbing some, have them available at the top of your mat just in case, or books, whatever you've got. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get started today in child's pose, bringing the blocks with you. So come to the back of your mat. We're gonna take the blocks underneath the hands. The hands can be about shoulder distance apart, and then draw your toes to touch wide in your knees and sink your hips all the way back towards your heels. And from here, you can relax your forehead, your third eye down to the mat. Taking a moment to settle into your space. And right away, let's start to deepen the breath. So imagine the breath rising up the back line of your body. And then as you exhale, let it wash down your spine. Settle your hips a little closer to your heels, releasing any tension through the hip flexors or the outer hips. And soften into your body. Let the deepening of the breath carry you deeper into your physical experience, noticing all the sensations as they arise. And if you need a clearing breath, let's go ahead and take one now. A big inhale through your nose. And then let go of an audible sigh out through the mouth to drop more deeply into your experience and let any distractions go. One more like that. Inhale through your nose. Fill all the way up to the tops of the lungs. And then a big sigh out through the mouth. Release your expectations of any outcomes for the practice today. Good. Start to settle into ujjayi breath, gently massaging through the body. And you can fade it in so that it can grow in intensity as the intensity of the movement grows. Take one final moment here and begin to cultivate a sense of playfulness through your full body and see how sensitive you can be to all of the movement and the effects of the movement from a place of curiosity rather than judgment. Let's go ahead and rise up to hands and knees, tabletop. You can release the blocks, just bring them back to the top of the mat. And then find the alignment here with the shoulders over the wrists, the hips are over the knees, and the knees are hips distance. We'll begin just by shifting forward and back, starting to wake up into the wrists, into the hands. Try to make sure the hands are spread super wide and that all 10 of your finger pads are plugged into the earth and then pulling toward the center of your palms. Super locked in. A couple more moments to shift forward and back. Maybe there's some popping or <laughs> getting into the wrist creases here, just waking it up. Circles can feel good, so take those if you like. And then let's spin the fingertips out to face the long edges of the mat. So heels of the hands will face together. Keep a micro bend in your elbows and shift here, side to side. The fingers stay clawing the mat. Good, and then flip your fingers back to face towards your thighs so the heels of the hands face the top of the mat. And if they don't come all the way to face back, that's totally fine. Just start to feel into the forearms. And again, shift the weight forward, back, side to side. If it feels good, circles. Send your breath deeply into the forearms. Good, and then we'll face the fingertips back forward. Let's bring the tops of the hands down to the mat now. So fingertips face back to the thighs again, and let this one be really subtle motion, shifting forward, back, side to side. Staying cautious that you're not placing too much weight right down onto the tops of the wrist creases as they're not really meant to 
bend this way with a weight bearing action. Good. Find your way back to tabletop. And now let's begin to move through the spine, wake up the body, whatever you need. It might be cat cows, might be circles through the rib cage or the pelvis. And you can start small and then begin to get the full body involved. And let the movement all flow from the inside out. Let it be like the effect of whatever happened right before it. So there's never a moment when the movement or the breath stops. Even if you're pausing somewhere to feel more, let there still be a flow into that space. Take two more rounds of breath here for you, playing, breathing, waking up through the spine. And then find your way back to a neutral tabletop. Tuck the toes behind you, press into the earth, and we'll glide back, downward facing dog. Take some time to get into your body in this shape. Explore what it feels like, pedal through the feet, and if you do so, really articulate the feet as you roll up to the ball of one foot, and then roll through the other foot. Try to feel all the muscles down into the soles of your feet so intricately woven. Feel all of your toes spread wide and anchored. and then breathe through your spine, elongating from the crown of your head forward and from the tip of your tailbone up and back. You can keep a micro bend in the, the knees and then invite your heart closer toward your thighs. Take two more breaths here, beginning to feel down the arms from the back of the heart, down those lines into your hands, all of these points of connection to the earth, rooting deeper, activating the fires that are building in the arms, all of this heat, breathe into it. As you inhale, gaze forward to your thumbs, and then we'll super slowly step our way up to the top of your mat. As you step, press the top of the opposite foot down into the mat to massage through the toes, open those lines. So as the right foot steps forward, top of left foot can press down. Good. And then arrive with the toes behind the wrists. Drop into a ragdoll fold. You can soften through the full spine. Let it waterfall forward. Relax the back of the neck and pull the crown of your head toward the earth. Let's interlace the hands behind the head today. You can drop your elbows and then use your thumbs to gently massage down the back of your neck to the base of your skull. Little self-massage. Wash your spine laterally, side to side, shifting the weight on your feet as you do so. Release the fingertips down. Let's draw the feet together to touch. Micro bend the knees, root into the toes, belly button to spine, and rise to stand, rolling up, stacking one vertebra on top of the next. Belly stays hollow, pulling back toward the spine. And then finally, the shoulders soften down your back. Lift your head, lift your gaze. <sighs> Take an inhale. Root into all four corners of your feet. Sweep the fingertips wide and then all the way up overhead. Palms meet, lift your gaze to the thumbs. As you exhale, draw your palms together at your heart center. Inhale, root down, rise fingertips high, lift the gaze. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Reach forward with your heart, then drop crown of head toward toes. Inhale, halfway lift, shift the weight into the toes, wash through the spine, butt reaches back, crown of head stretches forward. Exhale, plant your palms and step back, high plank. 
in the high plank. Elongate, shift forward slightly so shoulders move in front of wrists. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Slow and controlled elbows to the ribs, lower halfway. Untuck your toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Hover your thighs, lift pubic bone up towards sternum and shine your heart forward. Exhale, belly button to spine, glide back, downward facing dog. Drive into the space between your thumbs and your index fingers. Take a breath here, in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose, strong ujjayi. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of the mat and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, elongate. Exhale, fold forward, heart to thighs. Inhale, rise to stand, root the big toes, the pinky toes and the heels, fingertips circle high, gaze up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, fingertips reach high. Exhale, dive down, forward fold, flattening the back as you go. Inhale, halfway lift, belly button to spine. Exhale, palms plant, step or float back, lower chaturanga. Untuck toes. Inhale, press to upward facing dog. Exhale, ride the breath back, downward facing dog. One inhale here. And a smooth, sweet exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. At the bottom of your exhale, float to the top and fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, press the toes into the earth. Lift your fingertips to float. Exhale, thumbs to your sternum. Inhale, fingertips high. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, pull up through the lines of your legs, then stretch through your spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back. Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a couple of breaths here. Coming back to the experience of your sensations in this moment. Let the breath be like butter and it can coat the insides of your organs, run it down your legs, run it through the spine, down the arms, back into the earth. On your next inhale, sweep the right leg high then stack right hip over left, bending the right knee. Press your right armpit down toward the earth and stretch your right toes as far to the left side of the mat as, you'll, as they'll go. Keep a micro bend in left knee. Inhale here. As you exhale, we're gonna circle the right toes around in a really wide circle. Lift high onto the ball of left foot and then glide all the way forward. Right foot outside of right pinky. And keep the left Knee lifted, left thigh is charged. You can stay on palms or rise to fingertips. We'll take some circles into the hip. And they can be subtle at first and then broaden as the space becomes available. Reverse the direction of the circles. And then plant your palms. We're gonna pull the right knee to the right tricep. Hold and squeeze here for three. For two, press the earth away for one. Good, step right foot back to high plank. And then side plank. Roll to the knife edge of left foot. Stack the right foot on the top. And then dig your left fingertips down as the right fingertips reach toward the sky. Challenge your balance. Can you lift your gaze up toward the right thumbnail as you press more into what's connected to the earth to lift the hips higher. Take an inhale here. Reach forward through the right arm, expanding right side body. As you exhale, lift your right knee, draw it to your right elbow, and then we'll softly step to the top of the mat. Right foot forward, good. Keep the right arm lifted. Reach it forward, take a big exhale. Inhale, right arm high to the sky, easy twist open through the heart. And then exhale, revolve, circle the right arm all the way back and then forward, big circle. Inhale, open it up, heart to the sky. 
Exhale, circle right arm down, around, forward. Last time here. Inhale, open it up, and then let this carry you to horizon lunge. So roll to the knife edges of both of the, the feet. You can crawl the right toes away from the top of the mat to create more space in the hips. Press into left palm, lift your hips higher, and then reach up through the right arm. Gaze towards your right thumbnail. Inhale. As you exhale, reach forward through the right arm, plug it into your body, and then stretch out through right fingertips. Let's take one more inhale here. Exhale, spin back to face the top of your mat. Align your feet for warrior two. Press down, rise all the way up, arms go wide. And then sink and settle here, taking a moment to find your alignment, your depth. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana. Lift your right heel, turn your left toes out. Sink deeply down into the left leg and then come all the way to a low side lunge. Palms can be at heart center or root the fingertips if that's feeling better for you. Inhale here. Exhale, stay. Bring the palms down to the mat. Lift the hips high, the feet will widen. And we'll take an extended wide-legged down dog here. So like a wide-legged forward fold, but then stretch your fingertips forward. And then press into your palms and draw your heart back toward your thighs. Breathe deeply. Press the knife edges of your feet to the earth. And walk your palms back to the center beneath your face. Take an inhale, halfway lift in the spine. As you exhale, we'll walk all the way back forward to a wide lunge. The right foot is forward, both palms to the inside of the right foot. As you inhale here, pull your feet toward each other, activate the left thigh, so it's like you're lifting the back of the left knee toward the sky. Then as you exhale, keep this and deeply bend your elbows, pulling your heart forward and down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, sink and settle. Left thigh stays charged all the time. Inhale, pull right foot and left foot together, inflate your pelvis. Exhale, sink. Good. Press into your palms. We'll step back to high plank and float, chaturanga, lower, halfway. Untuck the toes. Inhale, press to upward facing dog, expand the front line. Exhale, glide back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the left leg high to the sky, stack the hip and bend the knee. And now pulling in opposite directions, stretch your left armpit toward the mat as you reach the left toes as far to the right as they'll go. Stretch the crown of your head toward your thumbs. Inhale here. Exhale, big circle, step the left foot all the way around to the top of the mat outside of the thumb. So lift the right heel, engage your core, and softly land, keeping the right knee lifting. Come to fingertips if you like and take some circles. And let your breath permeate every fiber through the hips, through the legs, through the feet. And reverse if you haven't yet. Then plant your palms beneath the shoulders, activate your core, press the earth away from you and pull the left heel to the sitting bone so the knee sticks to the tricep, holding here for three. For two, breathe. For one, good, step it back to high plank. Take an inhale here and then roll to the knife edge of right foot, stack the left foot over the top side plank. Left arm reaches up toward the sky. How much can you pull your hips away from the earth by pressing down more actively into what's connected there? Maybe the gaze lifts, inhale. Exhale, stretch left fingertips all the way to the top of the mat, bicep comes beside your ear. One more inhale. On the exhale, draw left knee and left elbow to touch and then step all the way to the top of your mat, slowly, deliberately place the left foot down, keep the left arm lifted, reach it forward, inhale. Exhale, stay. 
on the inhale. Find an easy twist, open the left arm up toward the sky, revolve your rib cage. Then the exhale circles left arm back and forward once again. Two more like this. Inhale, easy twist, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, arm glides back and then forward. Big shoulder circles. Inhale, stretch to the sky and this time we'll find the horizon lunge. So spin to the knife edges of your feet. You can widen or <laughs> crawl the left toes away from the top of the mat to give you more space into the hips. Keep flexing your toes actively and press through the big toe mounds of the feet. Lift the gaze high to the sky and then elongate through the lines. Press back through right big toe mound as you reach left fingertips forward to the top of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, revolve forward, left toes root. Then swivel so you can root the right heel and knife edge of right foot. We'll rise up to warrior two. Find the balance as you transition. Find the alignment as you transition. Inhale, dig into the feet, lift through the heart. Exhale, skandasana, left toes flex. Right heel turns in and then sink all the way down, palms to your hearts. Big breath here, inhale. Exhale, stay. Root the fingertips, lift the hips high. You can widen the feet, slightly pigeon toe the feet so the toes are more turned in than the heels. And then walk your, your hands forward. Press your heart back towards your thighs. Wide-legged down dog. And you can keep a micro bend in the knees, especially if you have a tendency to hyperextend, which I definitely do. Breathe through your spine. One more inhale. Exhale. Good, draw the palms back under your face. Take an inhale, ripple through the spine, halfway lift. And exhale, crawl back to the top of the mat, bend into the left knee. Both of the palms are still inside the left foot. Take a breath in here, pull your feet together, inflate through your pelvis. Then as you exhale, bend the elbows deeply. Hug left knee toward left shoulder. Inhale, squeeze the feet. Exhale, sink and settle, but keep all the activation, all the fire in the back thigh. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Rise to your palms. Step the left foot back to high plank. Shift forward, lower, chaturanga, your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shoulder blades hug the back of your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take an inhale through the nose here. Then a clearing sigh out through the mouth. Let it wash through. Sink your knees to the mat. And shift your hips back to your heels. Spin your palms facing up on your thighs and take a moment to drop. If it's comfortable, close the eyes. Just feel. Start by observing the quality of your breath. Observe any spaces in your physical body that feel really activated, like warm and fiery. Notice if there's anywhere that is still feeling hardened, tense, cold. And send some sweet breath to those spaces. And blink your eyes open. We'll take eagle arms, right elbow threads under the left, bear hug, or you can bring the palms to touch in front of the nose. And breathe between your shoulder blades here. Squeeze your elbows together and then see if you can stretch your forearms away from your face as you lift your elbows higher, like the fingertips are being magnetized toward the clouds. And then switch it out. Undo the clasp and now thread the left elbow under the right, palms to touch or bear hug. Squeezing everything toward the midline and then pressing the palms away from the face as they reach higher toward the sky. Breathe between the shoulder blades. Try to keep the shoulders softening away from the ears so the sides of the neck stay long. Mm, 
Good, go ahead and release. Plant your palms forward, tuck your toes, and we'll press back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, sweep the right leg high, stack right hip over left, bend the knee, and take a breath here, another inhale, another sip of air, to reach your right toes farther to the left, pressing both hands down and forward evenly. Inhale. As you exhale, lift your left heel, take your right leg on a big circle out wide, then pull right knee to right tricep, hold and squeeze here for three, for two, Four, one, press down, softly land the right foot outside of right pinky. Two circles into the hips in each direction. Let this feel really, really good. Keep the right foot anchored. Good, then plant the palms. We're gonna step the right foot back to high plank. And now, bend your knees. We're gonna shift to Vashistasana. So, both heels turn toward the left side of the mat. Root the left heel and the left big toe mound. You can lift the right heel. Then begin to float the right arm up high to the sky. Press into left foot and float the right knee up to the sky. Maybe the left leg presses towards straight. Draw right elbow and right knee to touch. Inhale. As you exhale, softly step to the top of the mat. <laughs> maybe it's graceful, maybe it's slow and sustained, or maybe not, whatever. Then reach forward through the right arm. As you inhale, find easy twists. Sweep right arm toward the sky, lift the gaze. Exhale, big circle. Right arm goes back and then forward. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale, circle all the way around. One more here. Inhale, circle all the way to horizon lunge, rolling onto the knife edges of the feet. This time, as you exhale, begin to sink the outer left hip down toward the mat, staying on knife edges of feet. As you inhale, press into the earth, rise all the way back up. Right arm goes over the head. Exhale, sink down. Outer left hip skims the earth. Inhale, press back up, rise. Left big toe mound reaches back. Right fingertips reach forward. One more time like this. Sink it down. Inhale, press down, rise up, reach forward through your arm. And then we'll spin back to face the top of the mat, align your feet, rise up, warrior two. Big inhale as you open through the arms. Exhale, sink to skandasana, left knee bends, settle all the way down, pulling your feet together to stay balanced and stable as you lower. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the palms. We'll rise this time just a regular wide-legged forward fold. Drop the head. You can sway the hips side to side. Bend one knee and then the other. Or take any other playful movement that feels good in the fold. Inhale, halfway lift, expand the spine. Exhale, crawl back to the top of the mat. The right foot is forward, left toes go back. Plant your palms. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, bend the elbows deeply as if you could pull the right shoulder all the way down to right ankle. Inhale, squeeze the feet together. Exhale, sink and settle down. Inhale. Last time, exhale, maybe sinking all the way to the elbows or just staying with the elbows deeply bent and we'll breathe here for three rounds. Squeeze the right inner knee, inner thigh to right shoulder. Soften the face. Keep the left thigh really charged. Any tension that you feel in the face or the hands, can you let it migrate to the right thigh? So that stays really active, but you can relax the spaces that don't need to be active. Awesome. Press into the palms, plant them, step back to high plank or option for Ekapada Chaturanga. You can float the right leg away from the mat, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, up and back. 
As you inhale, sweep high through the left leg, stack hip, bend knee. Take one more moment here to stretch out longer in every direction. And then as you exhale, lift the right heel, take the left leg on a big circle out wide, then pull left knee to left tricep. Hold, squeeze, three, two, one. Good, engage your core to step the left foot outside the left pinky. Two circles into the hips in each direction. Plant your palms, step the left foot back to high plank. And now we'll spin both of the heels to face the right side of the mat, the long edge. Root, right big toe, root your right heel. Bend your knee as much as you need to do so. Then float your left arm up to the sky, clawing through right fingertips. Begin to float the left knee high, drawing the right leg maybe towards straight by pressing right arm and right foot away from each other. Then pull knee to elbow and softly step to the top of the mat with control. Use your core for three, for two, yeah, for one. Put the left foot down. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, open it up, left arm toward the sky. Exhale, circle back, reach forward. Inhale to lift, elevate through your pelvis. Exhale, circle the arm back and then forward. Last time here, inhale. We go all the way to horizon lunge, rolling to the knife edges of the feet, readjusting the stance as needed. And then exhale, sink and settle. Outer right hip to skim the mat, claw through right fingertips. Inhale, press the hips high, reach the heart toward the top of your mat. Left arm goes forward. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, press through knife edge of right foot, lift the hips, lift the arm. Exhale, lower it down just one more time. Inhale, rise all the way up. Let this feel really good, open like you're gonna take flight away from the earth. Then revolve back to the top of the mat. Align the feet, we rise up. Warrior two, claw down into your toes. Let your feet be so sensitive that it's like you're feeling sand beneath you. Inhale here. Exhale, swivel on the feet, left toes lift, right heel comes in, sink it down, skandasana. Inhale, exhale, stay, soften. And press the palms down, lift the hips, find a wide-legged forward fold, and drop everything here. Let the spine go, let the crown of the head reach for the floor. Sprinkle your fingertips down. Take an inhale to elongate, halfway lift, and then exhale, crawl your way back to the top of the mat. The right toes go back, left leg is forward, and all the hands are inside of the left foot. Inhale here, pull your feet together. Exhale, deeply bend your elbows and sink down so the left shoulder is coming inside of the left leg. Inhale, exhale, sink. One more time, inhale, super strongly magnetize your feet, stretch your heart forward, and then exhale, soften down to the elbows. And snuggle the inner left knee and the left shoulder closer together. Soften the breath, soften the face, but stay active in the stretch. And breathing where you need the breath allowing the breath to create more opening, more space. Good, press into the palms, rise it back up. We're gonna step to high plank or a three-legged plank, the left toes hovering and lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, glide up and back. Inhale through your nose. Take a big sigh out through your mouth. And let's sink to the knees. The hips can shift to the heels. Taking a moment here once more just to feel. A little pause. The palms are up, open, receptive. Eyes are soft, shoulders are soft.
And blink your eyes open. As you inhale, we'll sweep the fingertips high. Stick your butt back, arc your heart to the sky, cactus through your elbows. And then as you exhale, hollow your core round inward. You can draw the backs of your hands together in front of you. One more time, just a little ripple through the spine. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze, cactus the elbows. And then exhale, draw in belly to spine, curl it all together. You can plant your palms down and forward, tuck the toes and glide back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the right leg high, stack the hip, bend the knee. Take in one more little bit of air as you stretch the toes to the left and then exhale, big circle with the right leg all the way up and around, bringing right knee to right tricep, hold and squeeze for three, for two, Four, one, good. Softly land the right foot down outside the pinky. Two circles. Opening through the hips and gliding into some of the space that you've already created, seeing if there's any more depth that now you have access to. Plant your palms. We'll draw right knee back to right tricep. Squeeze your heel in towards your sitting bone. Then staying here, see if you can roll so that you can root the left heel and the left big toe coming all the way into Vashistasana. This time, maybe right arm and right leg extend high. Left arm and left leg press down and away from each other. Inhale. Exhale, revolve to the top of the mat, slowly lowering landing right foot for three. For two, active core, yeah, for one, right foot softly steps down, reach forward through the right arm. Then circle up, right fingertips to the sky, inhale. Exhale, circle back, revolve, right arm forward. Inhale, sweep the sky. Exhale, circle it around and forward last time. Inhale, open up, horizon lunge. This time, a little bit different. So. Align so that your left shoulder is not stacked directly over your wrist, but there's a bit of a diagonal here. We're gonna sweep the right leg up, drawing it on top of the left leg. You can bend into the left knee and we'll come all the way into wild things. So the right toes step back behind, lift and expand the front body toward the sky, right fingertips stretch up and back. You can come out softly bending the knees to root your feet even more deeply if need be. Take one more inhale here, lift the heart. As you exhale, again, playing with the transition, lifting right knee, ooh, <laughs> lifting the right knee and the right elbow to come together. And then we'll softly step back to the top of the mat for three, for two. Good, for one, rise all the way up, warrior two. Sink the left heel down, open the arms, inhale. Exhale, skandasana, bend down, left knee deeply bends and then the hips sink. Inhale. As you exhale, plant the palms will rise to wide-legged forward fold and then stay. Or if you'd like, you can play with a headstand, maybe tripod headstand or any other inversion that you're craving. If you're going for the tripod headstand, stack the elbows over the wrists and then widen the feet until they can float away from the earth. Find a steady point to focus your gaze and just take it nice and slow as the legs lift any amount. If you're floating, go ahead and find your way back down, feet to the earth. Legs are wide if you are in the fold. Let's all now take a halfway lift. Inhale to stretch through the spine. And then exhale, we'll crawl back to the top of the mat. The right foot's forward, left foot's back. Hands stacked or shoulders stacked over the wrists. Take an inhale here, pull your feet together. Exhale, sink and settle your elbows deeply. This time we'll stay here. Can you see if you can hook your right shoulder under your knee and step the right hand outside of the right foot? And you might just stay here. You can play with shifting a little bit forward and back, opening into the right hip. If you'd like a little more, we'll begin to lift the left or the right heel away from the mat, coming high to the ball of right foot. And then press the back of your right thigh into your arm so much that maybe you can float the right foot all the way to the top of the mat. 
Now stay here or start to shift the weight forward like chaturanga arms, float your left toes away, kundanyasana B. Inhale. Good, exhale, left toes step back and we'll come all the way back into our downward facing dog. <sighs> Take a moment here. Let all of that go, whatever happened. And we'll go to the other side. So inhale, sweep the left leg high, stack hip, bend knee, stretch through the toes. Then as you exhale, big circle around, left knee pulls to left tricep, hold and squeeze for three, for two. Core connected for one, softly step left foot outside, left pinky, two circles in each direction through the hips. Take a moment here to come back to your breath as you massage the left hip. Deep and full, steady, supporting your practice. Okay, plant your hands. We're gonna pull the left knee back to the left tricep. Then you can bend your right knee any amount as you roll to stamp the foot down, flat to the mat, finding Vashistasana, diagonal line between right shoulder and right hand. Press the earth away from you and then sweep left leg and left arm all the way up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step forward softly for three, for two, revolve on your back toes, for one, the left foot comes down, reach your arm forward, let go of all of your air. Inhale, left arm reaches toward the sky, exhale, big circle with the left arm back and then forward. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale, sweep high. Carry yourself all the way to horizon lunge, rolling to face the long edge of the mat. Take an inhale here, press the earth away. Then begin to float your left foot away from the mat. Hover it on top of the right, bend the right knee till you can root the big toe. And then step the left toes back behind you. Open up, wild thing, big, expansive front body opening. Mm, inhale. Exhale, swivel, right toes back to face the long edge of the mat. Pluck your left toes away from the earth, pull knee to bicep, and then step back forward for three, four, two. Yes, four, one, awesome. Inhale, rise up. Warrior two, align the feet, open the arms. Exhale, sink deeply down, skandhasana, the right knee is bent. Take an inhale here. Exhale, plant the palms, lift the hips, coming back to wide-legged forward fold or an inversion, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna play with handstand against the wall. This time, since my wall's right here, just planting the hands and walking the toes up and back. And if you'd like another headstand, tripod headstand or any other version, go for it. Forearm stand, crow pose, whatever you need. And if you're staying in the wide-legged forward fold, that's great too. Just breathe, drop your head, see how much you can let go. If you're playing upside down, go ahead and softly make your way back to the earth. Folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out the spine. Exhale, walk it back to the top of the mat. The left foot's forward, the right foot's back. Now, plant your palms. Take an inhale to grow long through the heart. On the exhale, bend your elbows. Start to snuggle the left shoulder under the thigh and step the left hand to the outer edge of the left foot. And you can pull the hands a little bit back and the elbows here are bent like chaturanga arms. Pick up the left heel. And pausing anywhere along this, this journey, wherever you need. Then press your arm, your shoulder into your thigh to float the left toes away from the mat. Begin maybe to shift forward. The right toes can float away from the mat and just play. Good, right toes land behind you. And we'll step back downward facing dog. Awesome, awesome job. In through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And sink the knees down to the mat. You can bring the palms face up on the thighs. Close the eyes one more time. Dropping, releasing. 
Feel all the circulation. Feel the blood flowing in your body, through your veins. Feel the heart beating. If it feels okay, you can keep the eyes closed, interlace the fingers, and just roll out the wrists. Taking a couple of circles in both directions as the breath slows and softens. Blink your eyes open. Now we'll work into our second peak posture for the practice, eight angle pose. Grab your blocks. We're gonna come to a seat on our mats. Swing the legs forward and let the blocks be aligned outside of your hips. You can draw the left shin in and then we'll pick up the right shin. See if you can bring the knee to your elbow crease and then bring the right foot, the sole of the foot to the left elbow crease, like a cradle here for the right leg. Fingers can interlace and we'll just gently rock it side to side. Using the breath to comb through any tension. We've done quite a bit of hip opening already in this practice. So hopefully you're feeling that space. Now you can stay right here or you can begin to backpack the right leg over the right shoulder. So similarly to what we were just doing from the low lunge, see if you can hook the right elbow back. It's like you're, you're pressing your leg back and the leg becomes like a backpack strap over right shoulder. So right hand can come to the, the back of your calf and you can stay and breathe here. Maybe extending all the way to compass, right fingertips can go out. You can take the left hand to the knife edge of right foot, then scoop right sitting bone underneath you, plug, right, plug left shoulder into your body, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then maybe press the right leg towards straight, straight-ish, doesn't need to be all the way straight. Continually press the back of your right arm into the underside of the right hamstring. Maybe the gaze goes into the left elbow crease. Take one more breath here, breathing between the ribs. Good, then exhale. And we'll stay with the leg hooked over the right shoulder. You can reaffirm that connection if you need. This is where the blocks come in. So we're gonna bring the hands to our blocks setting the blocks up just outside the hips. Now, challenge, see if you can press into your palms and begin to hover the left leg away from the mat. Maybe you stay here. Maybe reach the left leg forward, or if you're going for eight angle pose, hook the ankles, flex your feet, then drive your inner thighs together, wrapping them around your right arm. Bend the elbows, the butt's reaching back, the heart's reaching forward. And finding the balance, finding your edge. And when you're ready, you can rise up, see how softly you can come out, release your butt, and then the legs go forward. If you'd like to pause and play longer on that side, go for it, you're always welcome to do so. Let's take a little break in uh, Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, so dig your heels down, lift up through your heart, and then begin to walk your fingertips all the way forward. Deep, full breath. Flex through your toes to really feel more deeply into the hamstrings. Notice that as you fold forward, with the toes flexed, it's like there's a line that extends from each toe all the way up the back of the leg and connects to the glute muscles. Okay, walk the fingertips back in. Let's try it to the other side. Remember, there's no pressure. All of this is just to play. So the right shin will draw in. You can realign the blocks as you need. And then the left shin will cradle in front of our chest. Left knee to left elbow crease, left foot to right elbow crease, and then interlace the fingers. If this isn't happening right away, that's okay. You can take a hand to the foot and just try right here. It took my body actually quite a long time for the hip opening to happen so that I could cradle the leg like this. Remember, it's just a practice and all of this is a process. So stay and rock side to side, breathe deeply. 
And when you're ready, let's go ahead and hook the left shoulder under your leg, like you're trying to get the, the knee and the back of the thigh right over the shoulder. And stay here. You can kind of elbow the leg a little bit back in space. And then as you're ready, right hand to knife edge, outer edge of left foot. Left fingertips step out wide, and then pull your shoulder blades together, plugging the arm into the body as you begin to stretch through the left leg. And you can peek through under the right elbow. Scoop the left sitting bone underneath you. It's all right if it's popping away from the earth just a bit, but just keep plugging the leg into the body as well. Inhale here. Exhale and release, but keep the leg threaded over the shoulder. And then you can re-sling, re re-backpack the left leg over the arm and then elbow it back. Align your blocks, outer hips, and then begin to press the arms towards straight. You can pluck the right leg away from the mat, maybe press it to the top of the mat, and then maybe the ankles can thread. So right ankle under the left, squeeze, wrap your legs around the, the left bicep, then bend the elbows deeply. The heart reaches forward, the gaze reaches forward. Claw into the blocks with your fingertips, send your butt back. One more breath. Good, and then we'll rise all the way back up, slowly, gracefully coming out. Sink your butt down and release. <sighs> Let's pull ourselves forward. You can bring the blocks to the top of the mat. We won't use them anymore. Stamp your feet down, hands to shins. Take an inhale, lift up through your heart. On the exhale, round your spine, hollow your core. One more like this, inhale. Lift the heart, lift the gaze, sitting bones and knees go wide. And then exhale, curl in, reach forward and we'll round all the way down to lie on our backs. Arms go wide. Let's just windshield wiper the knees side to side, nice and gently. And let your breath get even stretchier, even more elongated. Stretch your left toes forward to the top of the mat as you draw your right knee in towards your heart. And then reach your right toes up to the sky. Take an inhale here. You can reach for whatever is accessible, maybe the back of the hamstring or the calf or the foot. On the exhale, just gently pull the thigh in towards your heart. Let's take a twist. So if it's available, grab for the knife edge of the left foot, of the of the right foot with the left hand. We're gonna cross the midline of the body, stacking right hip over the left and taking this supine twist, but with the leg extended. If that's too much, you can go for just your standard supine twist or any twisted variation that you'd like. Maybe curl the left heel in towards your sitting bone. See if you can grab the top of that foot with your right hand and then create a quad stretch as well. Nice and bound up, wrapped up. Press both of your shoulders and the back of your head to the mat, and then find some ease in the shape. Find a surrendering down, giving into gravity. Breathe through the outer line of the right leg, through the IT band, the side of the shin, all the way down to the side of the foot. Soften the left quad if you have the the quad stretch. And just take one more moment on this side to drop. And then release your grip. Whatever grip you have, we'll roll back through center. Extend the right toes forward and then pull the left knee in and up toward the heart. And draw the leg up to the sky, straight or straight-ish, reaching for what's accessible. Take one breath here, inhale to elongate, and on the exhale, gently pull thigh to heart. And then find your twist, maybe right hand to outer left foot. As you cross the midline of the body, stack the hips. 
And just so that your shoulders are both rooted and then pull right heel into the sitting bone if you did so on the other side. Reach to grab the top of that foot with a left hand. And create a tug of war between both of your hands and both of your feet if you have the connections. So there's a little bit of activation, a little bit of a pressing out through the feet and a pulling in through the hands. Gaze can go to the left. Good. And then we'll roll back through center. Pull everything in towards your chest, both of your knees. Keep your head rooted and let's roll around the base of the spine. Massage the sacrum, the low back to let that release. Then pull into a big squeeze. Wrap forearms around shins. Take an inhale. And an exhale, final resting pose, Shavasana. Everything goes long, everything goes wide, and all of the activation that we've found, let it go. See how quickly you can find, in fact, the opposite of activation. Find deep rest, find let go, find surrender. I'll wake you up in just a little bit. So all that you have to do here is just relax. Stay longer if you can. If you're ready to come out, start deepening your breath and begin to feel a full body glow, like this warm, bright circulation throughout every fiber. And begin to press your thumb into each individual finger pad, finding connection in the hands. And then when you're ready, Grow into a long body stretch. Like your toes are reaching forward, fingers are reaching back, growing in opposite directions. And then roll to fetal pose. Settle on one side, drop everything here. Press down, rise up to a seat. Spacious and wide, the knees fall open. And draw the palms to meet in front of your heart and take a moment to feel all of the activation that you cultivated in your body, all of the strength, all of the active muscle work and engagement. And then allow yourself to feel empowered by these efforts, knowing that you are powerful and that this strength lives inside of you all the time. Lift the thumbs to the third eye and bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope that felt good for you. I know I'm feeling very activated, very awake and challenged as well. If you have a moment before you go, let me know in the comments how you're feeling and you can also subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already. I hope you're doing really well. I hope that you're enjoying this month of sustainable strength yoga practices here on my channel, and I'll see you very soon in another class. Bye.